Welcome to yet another exciting session of Talk the Talk only on Valuable.com. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce our guest today. He is Chief R&D and Scientific Services at Tata Steel, Dr. Sanjay Chandra. Dr. Chandra, welcome. Dr. Okay. Chandra is here to talk about Mind Node Matter, which is Tata Steel's annual innovation challenge for students. Dr. Chandra has spent 31 years with Tata Steel. He has strong interest in mathematical modeling of processes and in data analysis. He has been at the helm of some of the most cutting edge innovations that have been implemented in Tata Steel. Welcome, Dr. Chandra, to this Google Matter. Thank you, Ravi. Uh, Dr. Chandra, Mind Node Matter is in its second year. How did you first conceive of this program? Uh, colleagues in R&D had been pondering over what is the best way to solve some of the problems which our own collective strength was not able to address for the last several years. And we found that it was largely because we were very changed by conventional thinking and we were bogged down by what has already happened. So we wanted to look at fresh minds which would be able to give us an insight into what were our current problems. It was also felt that people who have not been conditioned by failures or past experiences in this field would be the best to come in and give a different spin to the work here. So a lot of lateral thinking is needed for this kind of a work and we thought what better than to engage some of the brightest minds from the engineering colleges which we have in India. That's how we are into this particular effort. Sounds great. So what were some of the challenges that were presented to students in the first season? Well, before we get into the specific ones, let me just give you a bit of stats on this. So we had about 166 number of challenges which we first put up within our own setup, brainstormed them and finally selected seven of them to be put up to the, uh, to the audience at large. These included challenges like CO2 reduction, renewable energies to melt steel, waste utilization, implementation of uh, elimination of hazardous material from steel casting powder, etc. And finally, we had two to three persons per team come in and help us with this work. All of them really sound very exciting. Of those ideas that were submitted, which one is the most memorable? Yeah. So, um, it depends on um, what we really mean behind that question. The memorable part could be because somebody did a very bad work or it could be because he did a very good work. Um, I would say that all the guys who came in, they really put in a very good effort. Given the fact that uh, we were doing it for the first time, there were limitations. And in general, the quality of work done was reasonably high. One that really stays in mind is the one which was done on CO2 reduction and solar heating. Okay. And I know concepts like solar heating has a huge potential in India. That's right. What was it like having students work side by side with the R&D team? Yeah, so the R&D team is also a very young team. The team which actually goes on to work with the student is also people who have not spent that much more, that much time in the company. So this is also a young group which leads um, the students who come in. And I think if you have these young mentors and young students, you really have a deadly combo. And that's how it was. They were uh, give and take from both sides. And I think at the end of the day, each side learned. I, I think overall the feeling has been extremely positive. Okay, so now that we are in second season, what is it that we can expect from my in terms of the challenges, expectations, and the participating conscience? Um, we have matured. The process which we had so far uh, was in its infancy. So in some senses, having learned from whatever has happened in the previous year, we have matured. And now, we have come up with several new challenges which cover a whole flavor of work which goes on within a steel plant. So be it the raw materials or right to the finished products, you have challenges which are coming in everywhere. Long ago, there used to be an ad for um, nail polish, if I'm not mistaken, and it said that if the shade you're looking for is not here, it's nowhere. So I would like to say that if the challenge you're looking for is not here, then you have not looked hard enough. And you have really summed up the challenge very well, sir. So, Dr. Chandra, what is 
So what essential tips can students or should they keep in mind while preparing for the submissions this year? Yeah, th what they should keep in mind is um, whatever they are suggesting should be something which we should be a reasonable level of progress should happen while they are here. For instance, if there is a suggestion which is so far off that we cannot even begin to do some work on it with our own hands over here, then that's um, maybe in the long run that would be good. But given the time span which we have, there should be something which we should really be able to work on and show some results. I'm very keen that people who come in over here don't end up doing desktop research. They need to work with their hand and they need to get something on the ground. Sir, with the kind of exposure that we have, students uh, get to see nothing is impossible. Now. So, what are the learning sources in one that can help students this year? The learning have been of all kinds. They have been very the hygiene kinds, where we have not been up to very good arrangements for the students for their accommodation and so on. We rectified quite well this year. Uh, HR has been helping us out with uh, all the arrangements which have to be made. We are also will we'll be making sure that when the people come in over here, they have actually something to work on. So there should be equipment, there should be facilities which will allow each and every one of them to try out something here. So they don't go back with some more textbook results. Okay, sir, but in, in terms of the approach towards you know, making your innovation see the light of the day, what is it that you know, they should definitely keep in mind? Um, they should while we would not like people to be constrained by the thinking in general, they do need to keep in mind that whatever they need to show has a time span of about two months or so. So to that extent, the ideas which they have in mind should be able to see the light of the day, the green shoot should be visible in two months' time. That is what they should be looking at. Well said, sir. Uh, what is unique about the challenges this year? Okay, from a student's perspective, I think the uniqueness may well lie in the fact that we have a better cash award and um, we will have better facilities for them. There, is, there may be a job offer which may be there at the end of the work. Um, we are also connecting with institutes with campaigning at various campuses. We are also going to be visible through social media like the one we are on now, right now. And, uh, we will also link up with other campaigns which are on from Tata Steel. Great, sir. We will try to make sure that you know, each and every student knows about this initiative. And together we can definitely do something. Fair. Sure. So once students have submitted their assignments, what can they expect next? Um, we will um, quickly, uh, you mean at the end of the day, at the end of the two months? Yeah, after, just after the assignments, so, what are the steps? Uh, yeah, so we will have a quick evaluation and we will really be able to tell them where their innovations stand and how we have rated them. And all the awards and rewards that follow will happen immediately following the two months which they are here. I know this must be a very uh, exciting period for students anticipating what's going to happen next. All right, sir, while evaluating submissions, what are some of the key parameters that you consider? Well, we look for how novel it is. We also look for whether there is some element of deep thinking which has gone in. Is it something which has been given just off the cuff or there is some thought behind it? If it is backed by some kind of calculations or some kind of uh, support from something which has existed not in the same field but maybe in a related field, it all strengthens the proposals as they come in. Shortlist students uh, are invited to work with Tata Steel's RMA department. Can you tell us a little about the kind of exposure and access they will they can expect and they get. Yeah, so the, when the student comes in, they are not necessarily confined to just the work they are doing. They will be able to see what kind of facilities we have over here. And by the time the students come in, we will have some very good facilities related to welding, thermomechanical simulation. So they will be able to see a lot of things which happen in the plant and they will be able to see how it's replicated in labs. This is in addition to whatever are the projects on which they are directly working. Um, also, there will be continuous guidance which will be provided and we will try to make this stay interesting and lively. Great sir. Work with fun. I am sure this is what they can look forward to. We understand there will be cash prizes. We have already spoken about. What is it that a month long stint that Tata Steel brings to a young student's life? Tata Steel as a company is very special and 
you really need to be part of it for short periods only to be able to realize what the people over here think, how they think, how devoted they are to the company, uh, how passionate they feel about their work. And when the students see that, they will understand that many subjects of engineering which appear to be very theoretical all come to life over here. Uh, especially in an R&D environment, students will feel that whatever they are reading is uh, very much needed and perhaps more. That is why we have many PhDs in R&D. I'm sure, sir, passion, the word that you just used is the soul and soul driver behind all the research that we do here at Tata School. For all the colleagues that you have at Tata School, how can they support this initiative? Well, the colleagues, colleagues within R&D are intimately involved with the planning, with the implementation, and in the execution. The people who are outside of uh, the outside our R&D, there will be occasions on which uh, our R&D team will interface with them in the plant. I'm sure the colleagues from outside would be able to encourage and give the relevant support which is needed for the projects to go on further. Dr. Chandra, thank you so much for being here with us today and taking all the time to speak to our audience. But before we end, what valuable advice would you give to students who are inclined to apply for my magazine? Don't go, let go of your dreams and be very unconventional in your thinking. We have enough conventional thinking within the setup. What we are looking for is an out-of-box thinking. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today on this Google Plus Hangout. I'm sure students will find some interesting points to ponder over while they apply for my matter season two. Thank you very much, sir. You can catch this interview on Dialogue.com or visit our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook and also on our